Back shares of interactive brokers are up nearly 40% this year. The online brokerage has about 3 million accounts, of which over 2 million belong to retail investors. And those investors can now buy and sell forecast contracts on economic indicators, including GDP, Fed funds, and the jobs report. The prediction platform is called Forecast X, and it went live exactly a week ago. And interactive founder, interactive founder and chairman Thomas Petterfee joins us now with a first on CNBC interview and a look at what people are betting on. It is great to have you here, especially for a topic like this. Welcome. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. What's the backstory? Was this a, a long time in coming or a relatively recent idea? Oh, we have been working on this for three years now, but we just finally received permission from the CFTC to start. What can you do and what can't you do? What should retail or any investors expect? Well, we can we can basically list, list economic indicators and climate indicators and uh, potentially some other things, but not uh, election-related or political contracts. Okay, so these are the... U it is so funny to me that you can do, you know, Fed funds and unemployment and all this stuff, and then global temperature. It's just like they just threw... Okay, and then you get... So people are betting on what they think the temperature is going to be as well? Well, I, the, you see, these are existential questions. The, the, the climate change and... And the national debt are, 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 think, are the two most important questions of our times. And it is the long-term contracts that we can list, say, going out 10 years. And, and we pay interest on the closing price of each contract every day at 4.83 percent currently, half, half on their Fed fund rates. Got it. So it... it it's kind of to get at these larger concerns that people have, a way to really to bet on them one way or the other. Um, what, what's the take up? How big do you expect these to get? And there are some, for instance, there's some, you know, there's predicted in these political betting sites. I, I'm not sure if those are jurisdiction to, uh, off or what the deal is there, but how big realistically do you think this product could get? I think it's going to be huge once people realize that these are real existential questions. What is going to be the national debt 10 years down the road? Or what is going to be the global temperature or, or sea levels or, and, and carbon content of the air? These are very important questions, and we better come to a, a consensus on these issues. Otherwise, we may be ending up in a bad place. So if I were to put $1,000 down and I wanted to bet on, on something many years uh, ahead of now, is that contract not going to settle for that whole period of time, or is it meant to be traded every day? It is not going to settle for 10 years, but you receive interest every day on the closing value of your contract. So if you buy the contract, say, at, at, at 20 cents on the dollar, and over time, it goes up to 80 cents on the dollar. You are receiving interest daily on the 80 cents. So it is, it is a, a very big difference. What are the most, popic, po most popular economic contracts out of the gate so far? Uh, so it, it's Fed funds rates. It's, it's uh, unemployment rate. It's housing starts. Uh, these are the most uh, popular currently, but I think on the long run, it is going to be the national debt and, and climate-related uh, contracts. Could other brokers and providers come into this business as well? Of course, of course. Uh, this is a the forecast tax is an exchange, a CFTC approved exchange, and any broker, any futures commission ma merchant can join the exchange. And a final question, which is not so much about this, but just as we've experienced this week, a number of platforms having kind of uh, log on issues amid the market sell off and so forth. What's going on there? Is that because they've become so digital? Is there a common provider uh, or or kind of ticker provider that that's catching things up? But can you shed any light on that situation? Well, I'm proud to tell you that interactive brokers did not have any issues and uh... Well, it's, it's the high traffic that impacted other brokers. They are not used to, they don't have the bandwidth for that much traffic. Yeah. Are you yourself going to bet on global temperature and, and national debt on this platform? I would love to, but unfortunately, given that I'm associated with the exchange, I'm not allowed to. Uh, understood. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Petterfee, thank you for joining us to explain it. And uh, we'd love to start featuring this data ourselves to kind of show people what the market thinks. We appreciate you adding this to the conversation.